thank you so much for joining me on today's edition of Business Morning. We're live to you on Channels Television, your home for the news. I'm Harriet Agbini. Let's start the show. Now, with the unveiling of the Economic Recovery Growth Plan, Nigeria's government has again assured that the country will exit recession this year. At the end of its weekly executive meeting, Minister of Budget and National Planning, Udoma Udo Udoma, said this can only be achieved among other things, with a quick passage of the 7.28 trillion Naira 2017 budget. The overall result uh, was better than many people projected. The IMF thought it was going to be, um, or 2016 was going to be uh, minus 1.8. It turned out minus 1.5. Uh, so that is better than uh, expected, but we're not out of the woods, uh, to get the economy out of recession before the end of this year. That is what we're working on. And the 2017 budget, as the President himself said when he presented it, it is, it is structured to do just that. Nigeria's Minister of Budgets and National Planning, Udoma Udo Udoma. Now, the much-awaited closure of the Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja has taken place in all flights and now headed to the Kaduna Airport, which will serve as an alternative for passengers and airlines for the next six weeks. Channel Television Aviation Correspondent Bukola Joe Ketumi reports that the first day of operations at the facility has been with mixed feelings. Let's listen. This is the Abuja Kaduna Highway, a road that is now a strategic link for passengers seeking to connect both cities for the Kaduna Airport. A ride along this road shows not only a recent upgrade, but the presence of security operatives at strategic points as the federal government aims to assure travelers of safety. Uh, what the government has done now is that uh, they have really created a model, a highway model, how a road safety operation should be on the highway. So from Kaduna now, from Abuja to the airport here now, we have about 14 commands. Away from the highway to the Kaduna Airport Terminal, which has come alive as it now says as an alternate to the Abuja Airport, which closes for a complete runway rehabilitation. At the check-in area of the new International Terminal building, passengers queue to obtain their tickets and process their traveling documents. The police, customs and immigration officials are also present to provide the necessary security checks to ensure safety of passengers and their luggage. At exactly 11.30 a.m. Wednesday, Ethiopian Airlines taxis in as the first foreign airline and is welcomed by the traditional water cannon salute. For the aviation ministry, this diversion is taken off on a good note and Ethiopia's flight into Kaduna is a demonstration of faith in the country. Some passengers who arrive at the airport from Abuja to board the international flight say the ordeal of getting to the terminal and the passenger processing is tedious. But there are also some who are satisfied with the level of facilities at the airport. It's quite a long road to come, but this is a pleasant airport and I'm very pleased to be here on the first day of the international operations. The train station from Abuja here was very fine, but getting here I couldn't enter because they were not ready for us. And I'm just entering everywhere, it looks rowdy. Reacting to the complaints, the managing director of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria says these problems will be addressed. So this is the first day, and normally the first days uh, will have hitches here and there. Uh, everybody is trying to position themselves. We want to assure all the passengers, intending passengers that intend to use that, uh, intend to use uh, Kaduna Airport, that we are ready. The arrival of Ethiopian Airlines marks the commencement of international operations at this airport. Authorities are hoping that the success of this exercise will attract other foreign carriers. From the international terminal of the Kaduna Airport, Ukola Jo Uketumbi, Channels Television News. So we're hoping to connect with Bukola in just a bit to get more updates on this particular developing story. Of course, as you notice in the report, Ethiopian Airlines is the first 
uh, international airline to hit the Kaduna International Airport. So we're getting, uh, trying to get more updates with regards how many other international airlines have indicated interest to actually fly to the Kaduna International Airport. Don't forget that when the announcement was made of the temporal closure of the Abuja International Airport, most of these international airlines kicked against it and said they would not be making any trips to the Kaduna International Airport. But has this changed? In the last 24 hours since operations began, full operations, albeit for the next six weeks at the Kaduna, Kaduna International Airport. And will six weeks actually be six weeks? We'll hope to connect with Bukola in just a bit. So let's get back to other stories that we're tracking here on the program. Three Nigerian banks and their foreign affiliates are reported to have taken over one of Nigeria's Telecom service provider Etisalat for allegedly failing to repay a loan of over 541 billion Naira it secured from the consortium in 2015 to turn around its network and expand its operations in Nigeria. Well, we reached out to the Director of Public Affairs at the Nigerian Communications Commission, Tony Ojobo, to confirm this, but we're yet to get a response. We'll keep tabs on this story and bring you more updates as we get them. On Wednesday, the Central Bank of Nigeria cleared 3,114 Bureau de Change operators to buy dollars sourced from international money transfer operators. And this was confirmed by the president of the association, Aminu Gwadabe, who says the IMTO's cash will be purchased this week to ease the scarcity of dollars, especially at the Bureau de Change segment of the market. He also confirmed that the CBN will next week raise the weekly dollar supplies to BDCs from $8,000 to $15,000. So let's quickly review where the markets finished off midweek trading across the various segments from the Nigerian Stock Exchange.